So let's start at the top. It's always good to start at the top. Now, what's that bony structure that forms your head called? It's called the skull. So we're going to begin our study of the mammalian axial skeleton from the top, the skull. And we'll do that using a human skeleton. And I'm sure you recall that humans are mammals too. So we're going to be using the human skeleton as a model for mammals. Now, the skull houses the brain, as well as the eyes and the eardrums and other vital organs. So you know it's a very important part of the mammalian skeleton. Now, you know that the skull is made up of several parts, even though it just seems like one big bone. It actually has several parts. So the skull is composed of several flat bones that are sutured or joined together to form two major parts. The first is the cranium or the brain box. Some people call it the brain case. This is an arc-shaped, almost round part that houses your brain and protects it from harm. The other part is the facial skeleton, which houses organs like your eyes and your eardrums, as well as the nasal cavity and the jaws. The upper jaw is called the maxilla, and the lower one is called the mandible, and they both hold the teeth together that you use to cut, tear, and grind food. The mandible is the only part of the skull that can move. So try and move your lower jaw so you can see this happen. Did you feel it move? Cool. Other parts of the skull are immobile. They cannot move. So let's take a step back and look at the human skull. You can see the big cranium, the brain box. You can see the maxilla, mandible, nasal bone, nasal opening, and the eye sockets. So that's it. Let's do a quick recap. We've learned that the part of your skeleton that forms your head is called the skull, and it's made up of two parts, the cranium and the facial skeleton. What else have we learned? You've learned that the skull protects some vital organs in your head, and parts of it holds your teeth. Now we're going to move on, and in the next lesson, we'll move on to that S-shaped chain of bones that run down your back. I'll see you then.